So let me share my screen. So before going to start the session, let me introduce myself. So myself, Rashid, I have 12 plus years of experience into uh, IT industry. Not only this uh, trainings, I'm, work, I'm uh, working as a real-time professional now. So let today we'll concentrate on something which uh, related to this word called Android. So hope you people have some idea about this Android. Right. So just a minute. Um, opening this empty document. So, and that now we we can uh, able to see the next level. Like anyone know about this word called Android? Anything you know about this? Just I'm not asking the exact this definition kind of thing. So because everyone most of them are using that uh, android uh, devices only so that's why just i'm asking this if you have any idea about this word android anyone no idea so simple one thing just whatever here we are discussing where we are connecting and that I'm expecting as an interactive session. So that's why I'm asking that if people have to involve on the session. Okay, let us start with this now. First of all, Android is an operating system. So first word, it is simple, like with the simple four words, I'll tell you the definitions. So Android is an operating system. This is the first word. So I'll clarify that word in detail as well. But uh, just we can understand that first Android. Next, so from there the next word that is a, uh, it is open source. So first is Android is an operating system. Then it is an open source. Then it is development, development environment means by using this. Here we can develop the apps. That is a development environment. Last, so that is the Linux kernel. So with these four words, here we can form the definition of the Android. So that is the Android definition, right? So simple words, I'll tell you, Android is an operating system. It is an open source. By using this, we can develop the apps and always it run on the top of the Linux kernel. So each then now each word will go in deeply here. So first word operating system. What is an operating system? So we know that operating system is nothing but it is the bridge between this two things. One is the hardware and software. Either that you can say has bridge or it is a middleware between the software and hardware, right? Simple here, I'll write that is the middleware between, so middleware between hardware and software. So what is an hardware and what is software? So like we are using the mobile, so on the mobile software is nothing but it's a whatever the applications which we are using, those are a lot of like contacts, uh, camera, Bluetooth, settings, message. So those all we are seeing as a software. But hardware, under there is a display, mic, and uh, other lot of hardware is there. So those we can say has the hardware. So it is creating the communication between these two that we can say as the operating system. Right, so this operating system here in a uh, web technologies, web terminology, so there are a lot of operating systems are available. Like one is that, uh, that is the uh, Windows, Linux, Mac. So there are multiple things are there, right? If you comes to this mobile platform, here as of now, we have only two operating systems. That is, one is the Android, other is the iOS. So, but both are different here. One is Android and other is the iOS, right? 
hope you know about these two android as well as the ios but these two are the different so those two are the different right but here what is our course our course is an android so not we are not any dependent on not an ios here this purely into the android now open source so what is the meaning of open source open source is nothing but which is freely available so it is freely available what is freely available so this is uh, some of the things which are here freely available so those depends on a situation that uh, differently it is available like one thing it is that first one so that is a uh, stake means i'll come with us different stakeholder wise because here we have the different stakeholders first i'm treating as the end user so we all are the end users who are using the android mobiles then i'm treating as the end users so for the end users so we are getting apps are free free apps we are getting almost 99.9 .9 means maximum almost all the apps which we are getting which we are downloading that we are getting as a free of cost right we are not paying anything to them like uh, means you can say maybe flipkart here yeah. like that is we are paying for the to buy product not to utilize the application right so that's the reason we can say that is the free of cost here yes. then next so from here, the next level developer. In case if we are a developer, so what is the benefit? So here we are getting as a development environment, dev environment as free. So we are getting complete dev environment as free. We no need to pay anything for this development environment. So the development environment will be completely is the free of cost. So easily we can uh, go with this development environment so that complete development environment would be here free of cost, right? So also not only the development environment, it has one huge community. So through that huge community here, you will get a lot of things from scratch to till end of the development, like until you push the Play Store, everything we will get the data from here so that is here developer.android.com is the official website for this this is a huge community in this community a lot of things we will get that is from mobile level as well as that uh, is the you like tutorials youtube tutorials basic tutorials like a lot of things here we will get here this. so that is the one part of here this is we will get here when right then after that there is the one more third type of stakeholder so that stakeholder here it is so that is the manufacturer so device manufacturer who are uh who are uh, uh means like mobile manufacturers vivo samsung like uh Nokia. So there are many, many manufacturers are available. Not only this mobiles, other Android gadgets, whatever we have, like we have a lot of headsets which communicate this, a lot of like car, auto, TV, watch. So such kind of lot of things. So those, so for them, it is OS is free. OS is nothing but here. Operating system is the free of cost. So they can customize the operating system, but how? See, simple example I'll tell you. Today, I have buyed one Android uh, mobile with the uh, latest version, Android 14 in Samsung, like uh, a 6 GB RAM and 128 internal space. And similar, some of you also buy one Android mobile with same configuration. Whatever I have buy, that is the same. 
uh, 6 GB RAM and uh, 128 uh, internal space with Android 14. But you buy it in a Vivo. I I buy it in a Samsung. You buy it in Vivo or MI something like that. Then if we compare both, it is completely different. Why? Because these people like manufacturers as download the basic operating system. On top of that, whatever their developers will customize that. will customize the operating system on top of that like they will change the theme they'll change uh, predefined apps which are coming once you buy that mobile whatever the apps you are getting and that will be different so that part of customization can be done here so that is the operating system that is right so this is about the open source So the next word here, there is a development environment. Already that word is covered here. So we are getting the free of cost the development environment. So we no need to pay anything for the development environment, right? Yet next, this is a Linux kernel. So this Linux kernel is one of the main and important aspect in our uh, development because. So they dependent on this. Now there are lot of things will be aligned here because this will be sit on a architecture level. So first simple words, all it will run on the top of this kernel only. Means it is the security layer, first level of security for our Android application. First level of security from operating system side. So if you follow. Some rules are not in your app. Rules, if you follow, are not rules in your application level. But first level of security from operating system side, OS side. This is the main. That's the reason because Android has developed on top of the this Linux only, and that that Linux kernel is the one of the security layer that is started here. Like for example, I want to open camera. So once I click on the camera to open the camera, I need hardware of the camera. I need camera drivers to display that some view is required. So it will combine this all one by one, one camera hardware, a uh, view and drivers and uh, something whatever it is that all the data it will gather and it will goes to this particular thing on that Linux kernel layer. From there, it will interact to the user. Means until it move, it cannot move on to this. It cannot interact with the user. So that is the main thing, which is this. So this is about the Android definition. Hope you are clear on this definition. Or if you have any questions on the definition side, so anyone have any questions? Or it is clear on the definition side? So any questions? Okay. So if you are clear on this, I can go on to the next step. So that is next. That question is for you people only. So why you are learning on this course? So lot of people will come with a lot of reasons. That's why I'm asking this. Why you are learning this course? Anyone? If you are unable to talk. You can send me and chat also. It's fine, but why you are learning this course? So the once you can you give some if you have any reason you can give. But I'll come with the generalized examples. Anyone? The workers. Um. Yes, sir. So why you are learning this course? Sir, I mean, sir. Uh, I got interested, sir. That's why, sir. Basically, I know front end, sir. As a React, then okay. I'm willing to switch into this, sir. That's why. Okay, you are already working professionally, no, sir. No, no, sir. Currently, I'm looking. I'm just I'm also interested in this. That's why. Oh, oh, understand. Ismail, you have any specific reason? Kapil, no specific reason, sir. Okay, so here, see, generalized. I'll tell you. 
some majority of the people will come. First reason is job, right? Everyone agree with this, right? So if you only came for job, there is no meaning of this because if I learn Angular, if I learn PHP, if I learn .NET, if I learn Java, definitely I'll get a job somewhere. Means whatever the technologies which are available in the market, if I can go and if I can search that, definitely I can get a job, right? But in case if I come this here, apart from the job, I'll show you some other things like own apps. You can develop some of your own applications and you can upload those applications in a store. So then uh, you will get uh, benefit from the means. Uh, like how you will get the benefit. So through ads, right? Once we upload the apps into the store, on that store, we will enable the apps. Even in case if I develop the web application, web application, we cannot uh, start with application. Uh, we cannot start with uh, zero users. But here, even with zero users also, we can enable the, uh, we can enable the ads. So that once the users will start, then we'll get some income. But how much income I'll earn and for how many days? So simple, as much as uh, that, um, uh, that is available, app is available on a store, those many days you will get. So regular users will be there, definitely. But how much I live? Let us say my app has downloaded by 10,000 members. How much I can earn? Means on the 10,000 members, every day the 10,000 members cannot use your application, right? 50%, maybe, 30%, maybe. I'll go with very worst figure that is 10%. 10% means it is 100 members. So 100 members are using your application daily base. Easily on a month, you can get eight to 14 K, you will get means 100 to 150 dollars per application, like if you upload multiple apps, then definitely there will be here. Can with small, small, silly apps also, lot of people are getting huge amounts. So why can't we do that, All right? That is one secondary income. Apart from this secondary, I have to show that one more, that is a third income also. So that is freelancer. So what is freelancer? See, without the company, if I work myself for some of the clients that we can say has the freelancer. Right. So here now, I'm like the, in a Play Store, there are billions of applications are available. So billions of applications are available, but on that now, so from the billions of applications, lot of people are not using your applications, right? Means a lot of people are updated that, but all of them are not a developers. Let us say I have lot of concepts I'm interested to upload the apps into the Play Store, but I don't know coding. What I'll do, instead of spending the time on learning the codes, I approach one small company in my own company. Then they said that, okay, this we will do. But 
For this, we will charge around 1 lakh this rate. Then I know some of you people like you will do that you are working on Android. Then I approach some outside the freelancer. He said definitely you will do less than a 30,000. Because if I approach a company, obviously the cost could be high. For small applications, to approach a company, it's not a good deal. So that's why uh, outside we will approach the outside users. So then we will get that. So that is one more extra if you have a time. So that also you can. Means apart from the job here, we can able to get two more benefits. So that is one thing here I want to say. Right. This will be okay. But here now I want to go next step. So next step is here. So what we are going to learn here is, so our course is Android App Development. Android App Development. So this is our course. So we have to develop the Android apps. If you complete this course, you are eligible to develop the Android apps. But in this, this is here, we are going to discuss with the language called Kotlin. So this Android we can do by using the multiple languages. One is Android, sorry, Kotlin and Java, Python. So that year now the latest Android and the latest whatever the architectures, latest platforms which are more flexible in a Kotlin and in industry also everyone are following this Kotlin only. So that's why we are working on this Kotlin. That course also will start. And here, XML we will use for the design and uh, Android 14. Our course will go with Android 14 because as of now, this is the latest version of Android 14. But maybe in the next one or two months, we can expect Android 15 also. But in case, before our course completion, if Android 15 will release officially, if any new features will be introduced, if any, some means person to version, some code standards, code things, securities, that things will be involved. In case, if any such case, that also will discuss in our part of the code. Right. So that is one. And after that here, this is the course wise, but benefits for you what benefits you will get for this course so the benefits is here now like uh first benefit i'll share you one pdf this pdf will contain theoretical as well as the programmatical sessions so that whatever we are discussing in a classroom, the theoretical is then programs may vary. That is different in here. Classroom will be different because I don't have fixed programs in my brain. Like because I'm a working professional, always I can go with the different uh, programs for the different uh, batches. Apart from the some of the fixed programs. So that definitely the programs, whatever we have in a PDF here, both will be different means you will get one more extra advantage. Some examples there, some examples here, you will get that. And after the session, you will get a recording of the every day this session, whatever we are discussing, that recording also will get. So that uh, if you have any questions that you can recall that. And if you have any questions in classroom, directly you can ask here. So I will guide you. And uh, coding, coming is the coding. Like how today I'm writing line by line, line by line. In a similar way, we can go and we can discuss the topic by topic in detail, like line by line code with clear explanation, I'll write. And maybe I, I expected one question, once I said the quote link, but a lot of people will ask, but in this batch, I not get that question. Sir, I have, no knowledge on portaling as well as XML. Then, how we can do? So, no need to worry. That 
all the things we'll discuss from the scratch. So I'll teach you by from the scratch one by one. So no need to worry about that language. Right, then after that, in case, like if you are the job for job searching, I'll give you some sample resume so that uh, you can prepare your resume. If you want some guidelines on your resume, I'll give you that points as well. And the job wise also, I'll refer if any my known content because my lot of students are working in different areas. If they have any opportunities, definitely they'll approach me so that I'll guide you, okay, can go. They normally definitely some part of my reference will work. Even in my company, all Android developers are my students. So because when I have a requirement, who is the best from my student, definitely I'll pick that particular person from here. Right. So then whatever the code we are discussing in the classroom, that I'll upload into one Google Drive. And I'll share that Google Drive link for you people to access the code immediately after the class so that I'll give you access of that. Right. Then, so this is the 45 days of course, 45 days. Every day it is one hour session. So, but initially, until the batch confirms, I won't teach exactly one hour session. So, until the batch confirms, we will go with less than like the 30 to 40 minutes of session every day. Once because one day one person will come, second day other person will come. Like they feel that, okay, it's like maybe unfortunately some person has to join, but they join after two days. Those who feel that, okay, I have missed a lot of topics. Like because of that's the reason, just initial days, I'm going a little bit slow. That is 30 to 40 minutes of that session. And after that, we'll spend exactly one hour every day that session. Right. If comes to that uh, course content, hope you already received my course content. So anyone have any idea about what topics are there in Android? You have any basic idea about this course, like uh, Prabhakar, Kapil, Ismail? You have any topics wise knowledge little bit? I'm, I'm asking the more on that topic names at least. No, sir. Okay, okay, no worry. So that uh, uh, like basic uh, normal flow, I'll go here. Then uh, in detail course content, we'll see later. Like here, first we'll start from the introduction of the Android. So after introduction, there are many versions in our Android. So those versions, we'll see one by one, what is version, what is the feedback, what is the benefits of the each version. Then after that, installation of the Android Studio, basic things like uh, what is the project structure and all. Then we'll discuss on the uh, text view button, like that is, through XML first, then we'll enter into the Kotlin. XML button, checkbox, radio button, like how to create the user interface with all terms and conditions like uh, validation uh, and uh, design alignment, how it should suitable for the multiple resolutions. Uh, those things, basics. After that, advanced like list to arrays. We'll deal with arrays, list view, grid view, drop down menus, auto complete, like while searching automatically filters will work, right? So such kind of use. Then components of Android, that is like uh, how to handle the pages, background activities, like the alerts, so alerts kind of thing, like means battery loads, uh, email received, notification received, like WhatsApp message received, such kind of things, how it is handling that kind of thing. 
and then pop up dialogs so how to handle how to select the calendar so internet is not working how to handle that case then major that is a web services once i enter into the web services there i'll create one sample project so this sample project in this sample project i'll incorporate many things more than 10 different activities i incorporate into this so it will help how the real time project flow will goes that it should be preferable that it will come here like login page session management registration after that login i have to display some personalized data then there i have to use some material design to attract the user advanced user interfaces that i create and uh, animation so before animation like uh, one uh, page that we can say as a splash screen so that kind of other things i have to incorporate on this so that that will give real time scenario for this and after this year there are uh, topics wise like retrofit voli so mvvm architecture mvc architecture and uh, material design that is nowadays main and important to attract the attract to make and attract user interfaces that then how to use google maps into our application and next is the play store how to upload the play store and we are sending notifications right like in a flipkart amazon and uh, whatsapp how we are receiving the notification how we are sending the notification so such kind of notifications also i'll show you here that by using the firebase also there is a one more interest topic that is a crash analytics so that once i click on that uh, means unfortunately my app has crashed but by that time my app is in a place i don't know who installed my application but that will be crash so that kind of that means at that time immediately i'll receive a notification i receive an email alert to developer so this application is crashed because of so and so reason so that immediately we can uh, resolve that issue and we can re-upload that after two days we will get a bug free application so that is here this next how to add the advertisements to your application so these are lot the multiple things lot of things i'll add like how each and everything will go in a real-time oriented format only. right hope this all are clear or if people have any questions on a course content wise duration wise if you have any questions please ask i'll clarify your questions no questions prabhakar kapil ismail if you are unable to talk you can send in whatsapp sorry you can send here also in chat also it's fine Yeah, Prabhakar, you are saying something. Yes, sir. When we are making some projects, sir, mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, what kind of project we are going to make, sir? See, here, what I'm saying now, that I'll create one sample project. So there, I'll I'll add one registration form, okay? Mm -hmm. One login form. Then after that, uh, some data, like user-wise, some data will be there, right? That data will be displayed. Means I am not going in deeply of the complete project here because that cannot uh, uh, time allows here. But I'll create mm -hmm. one base base project. So on the base project, I'll explain you. If you want to go, like let us say, uh, if you want if after login, uh, there is a functionality add, update, delete, some kind of thing, whatever you have to do, that kind of thing, how you have to do what you have to do that kind of complete guidance i'll give you there okay sir okay any other questions okay hope it is clear for everyone then uh, yeah probably this is ma'am uh, sir i am also using linux kernels i haven't understood sir how it pays 
after there which one come repeat the question and the linux kernel you said kernel is based on that linux yeah. kernel how it see that is a android his android has android operating system it is operating system right that operating system has developed on top of the linux so and that uh, that linux is the part of uh, whatever the architecture here the android architecture it is uh, built on on top of the linux only so that uh, we will get clear clarity while we are discussing about the android architecture diagram there you will able to see how that will interaction will happen same thing even if i explain that things also it will confusion for you means that will be means uh, whatever application i am running that i'll run definitely an android platform right so that support linux kernel support will get automatically for our as of now you can remember that whatever the application we are opening in android phone that support we are getting from the uh, operating system right so that operating system is nothing but android but that will run on the linux on top of the linux okay is that any other questions okay so then uh, we'll wind up the session for today tomorrow we'll connect we'll see the next level like uh, android history what are the versions how that versions will be started what are the benefits of the versions we will see that after two or three sessions so we will go for the installation so that time we will ready with the laptop so that uh, we'll see the installation then next day onwards we'll start the program session after maximum after four sessions we will start the programmatic sessions. First four sessions will be theoretical. Okay, thank you.